If you are a computer science student, maybe a B.Tech, B.C.A. or M.C.A., you might have asked yourself, do you really need a graphic card for AI and machine learning? It's a big question and here's where most people go wrong. Some waste money on a gaming laptop they don't need, other cheaps out and their laptop start lagging during a ML project. I've been there, I've just finished my MSc in data science and I know the struggle wanting something powerful without burning a hole in your pocket. So in this video, we are breaking it down. The best budget laptops when you actually need a graphic card and what I wish I knew back in the college. By the end of this video, you will exactly know what to buy, what to avoid. So what's the right choice? Let's break it down. Okay, all right, let's talk about the big question. Do you actually need a dedicated GPU for AI ML as a CS student? If you're just starting out, first or second year BTEC, MCA or BCA, you will mostly be doing coding, Python, C++, data structures, maybe some development. AI ML won't be that heavy yet. And most of the tools you will use like the Google Colab, Kaggle are cloud-based. A strong CPU, 16 GB of RAM matters way more than having a GPU at this stage. Back then I was doing my MSc, I ran most of my ML models on Google Colab. Lab. But if you are getting serious and you are planning to train deep learning models locally, an RTX 3050 or 4050 is a solid for entry level training, fast enough for most college projects and small models. If you are planning to work on large models or fine tune LLMs, look for something like the RTX 4060 or above. The first laptop in this list is the ASUS VivoBook 14, priced at 29,990. It is a great starting point for entry level programming. This laptop comes with the AMD Ryzen 3 7320U processor featuring 4 cores and 8 threads. It also has an integrated AMD Radeon graphics and 8GB of DDR4 RAM. This laptop is perfect if you are on a tight budget and just getting started with programming or computer science. It handles basic tasks like Python web development and tools like VS Code. However, for AI ML and Android Studio, it starts to feel slow. It's more of an entry-level machine but solid for foundational learning and simple development tasks. For something with more power and multitasking capabilities, the MSI Modern 14 at 41,990 provides a notable upgrade. The MSI Modern 14 is powered by the Intel i7-1255U, a 10-core processor with 12 threads. It uses the Intel Iris XE graphics and comes with the 16GB of DDR5 RAM. This ultrabook is fantastic for computer science students who need to multitask, compile code and even do light data science. It can handle Jupyter Notebooks, Dockers and full-stack environments decently. However, it does have some limitations when it comes to the GPU-dependent AI ML training. Now, if you want a strong all-rounder, the Lenovo V15 at 40,990 is a really excellent choice. It is powered by the AMD Ryzen 7 7730U with 8 cores and 16 threads. It also comes with integrated AMD Redone graphics and 16GB of DDR4 RAM. This laptop is a solid performer within the budget range. It handles multitasking, running local servers, and light AI ML workloads without breaking a sweat. While it doesn't have a GPU acceleration, it is still great for data wrangling, pandas, and working with the TensorFlow basics. Now let's dive into the mid-range laptops. The first laptop in this list is the HP Victus, which is priced at 47,990. It features the AMD Ryzen 5 5600H, which has 6 cores and 12 threads. It's also paired with the 4GB of AMD Radeon RX 6500 GPU and 8GB of DDR4 RAM. This laptop is for those who want a real GPU on a budget. It's a nice pick for entry-level machine learning training and running LLMs with limited parameters. For computer science students, this can last through your entire degree. It works great with the Java, C++, Docker, local databases, and more. One Android Studio and Unreal Engine works here really great. Now, if you're looking for something with a bit more power and GPU support, the Asus Tough Gaming A15 with the RTX 2050, priced at 56,990, steps up with more muscles. It runs on the AMD Ryzen 7 7435HS, a strong 8-core 16-thread CPU with an NVIDIA RTX 2050 GPU, which have 4GB VRAM, and you also get 16GB of DDR5 RAM. You can start using Python, TensorFlow, and GPU acceleration. It can also handle Android deployment, full-stack frameworks like the MERN, and even light 3D modeling in Blender. Come to such students would love this if they are into gaming too. Now, if you're looking for something ultra-efficient and more focused on light tasks, the Asus VBook 16 with Snapdragon X, priced at 62,990, offers a shift to ARM architecture. This comes with the Qualcomm Snapdragon X processor, which has 8 cores and an Adreno GPU. It also comes with 16 GB of LPDDR5 XRAM. This is a newer-gen ARM laptop, so it's better for lightweight, battery-efficient tasks. Coding, note-taking, browser-based tools, and cloud deployment work really well here. However, AIML tools aren't well supported due to the ARM architecture. It's ideal for those focused on the front-end web development or who uses cloud virtual machines instead of local processing. The Dell G15 5530, priced at 69,990, brings a great balance. It comes with the Intel i5-13450HX, which has 10 cores and 16 threads. 
and it is paired with the NVIDIA RTX 3050 6GB VRAM and you also get 16GB of DDR5 RAM. Now this is a legit AI and deployment machine. You can run LLMS locally, fine tune smaller models and also do deep learning training. It's excellent for computer science projects, cloud labs, backend heavy tasks and can run any IDE or simulator you throw at it. Now if you want something slimmer with a longer battery life, the Acer Swift Go 14 at 65,990 offers more power in an ultrabook form factor. It comes with the Intel Core Ultra 5 125H, a 14 core 18 thread chip, Intel Arc graphics, and 16 GB of LPDDR5 X RAM. This is a cutting edge machine. Power efficient Ultrabook, it's made for long hours of cloud deployment, VS Code, Docker, and Web Tech stacks. The 2022 MacBook Air M2 is a top contender. It is priced at 80,990. The 2022 Apple MacBook runs on the Apple M2 chip with 8 core CPU and 8 core integrated GPU, paired with 16 GB of unified memory. It can run Xcode, TensorFlow using the Metal API, and even PyTorch are optimized for Apple Silicon now. It's super silent and efficient for coding, ML inference, and cloud deployment. Now, if you want something that balances power and price, the Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 5, priced at 66,990, the Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 5 comes with the Intel Core Ultra 5 125H, a 14 core 18 thread CPU, integrated graphics, and 16 GB of LPDDR5 X RAM. Think of it as the sibling of the Acer Swift Go 14. Slim, fast, and good for cloud based development or coding heavy work. It still can't train big ML models locally but handles the workflows like Jupyter Notebook. Python scripting, full stack deployment, and building mobile apps easily. Finally, if you want a great all rounder for both gaming and development, the HP Victus, priced at 78,990, is the fantastic choice. It comes with the Intel i5 13420H with 8 cores, 12 threads, along with the NVIDIA RTX 4050 with 6GB VRAM and 16GB of DDR4 RAM. This is a solid gamer plus deployment combo. The RTX 4050 gives you serious ML power for training models, testing AI agents and experimenting with the neural networks. Ideal for CS majors who want real-time GPU support and Android deployment without lags. Unity, Unreal Engine, Docker, everything runs well here. Now next up we have the premium laptops. The first laptop in this list is the HP Omen Gaming AI, priced at 95,990. It features the AMD Ryzen 7 7840HS, 8 cores, 16 threads, 6GB 6 of RTX 4050, and 16 GB of DDR5 RAM. This is a high performance machine priced for both gaming and demanding deployment tasks. With its powerful Ryzen 7 processor and Nvidia's RTX GPU, it excels in AI, ML, full stack development, game development, and even app deployment. The 6 GB VRAM ensures it can handle GPU accelerated tasks like 3D rendering, video editing, and deep learning with ease. If you're looking for a bit more firepower and a future proof machine, you can go with the Asus Tough Gaming A15, priced at 94760. It features the AMD Ryzen 7 7435HS with 8 cores, 16 threads, a 8GB of RTX 4060, and 16GB of DDR5 RAM. Now, this is for the students who want to dive deeper into AI, training custom models, and explore 3D work. When you are just starting out in computer science, your focus should be on building the solid foundation. You don't need to drop big money on high-end laptops right away. A well-rounded, budget-friendly laptop will be more than enough for your projects, coding, a little bit of AI and machine learning. Save your resources for when they are really needed. Start with what you need and upgrade when the time comes. Understand where you are in your journey and buy a tool that fits your current as well as future need. You don't need to go with the flashiest one or the most expensive. So now I want to hear from you. What's your budget and what kind of work you want to do with your laptop? If you are already ready to buy any of these laptops, check out the affiliate links down below in the description box. They won't cost anything extra to you but will support the channel. Also, I'll be testing more laptops soon. So if you don't want to pick the wrong one, then do subscribe the channel.